we just wanted to let you know that we've been thinking about you. Thank you for being such a loyal supporter throughout the years. We'll be playing for you, and we'll be praying for you. Get well soon from Unity Women's Soccer. Hey, Crystal. Um, uh, it's really good to hear from you, and uh, we want you to know that that we're really thinking and for you, thinking about you, and praying for you. Um, you are probably the most competitive person I know, uh, and you know how much we value that here with UD Soccer. So uh, we'll be going out on the field uh, and competing our rear ends off for you, and we want you to continue to do the same there. So uh, with our love, um, UD Soccer. Hi, Crystal. Mike Kelly at the University of Dayton. Coach Tucker has uh, brought me up to date on your situation, says you are, you are a fighter and that uh, you're dealing with a lot right now. I just want you to know that we're all thinking about you. You're in our thoughts and our prayers, and I know with your tenacity, things are going to just be fine. So uh, just keep, uh, keep working at it, and uh, we want you to know that uh, we're all with you, kid. Good luck. Hello, Crystal. This is Rick Chamberlain, the head football coach at the University of Dayton. I just want to send you my best wishes and tell you that we're all thinking of you and we know that uh, you're a fighter because you're a flyer and we know that the flyers are tough out there and that you're going to get through all that they throw at you. Again, Crystal, prayers and thoughts are with you and I'm looking forward to seeing you back here on campus someday. Hey Crystal, I'm Dennis Kerr, University of Dayton Men's Soccer. We're really sorry to hear about the news. Dayton Flyers uh, Athletics is always behind you. Keep up the fight and uh, we wish you the best. Hi there, Crystal. It's Sarah Hoffman. I'm the head women's cross country coach here at UD. Just wanted to let you know that we're thinking about you every day and our prayers are with you and keep fighting. Hi, Crystal. This is uh, Jason Francis, the head women's uh, track and field coach. Just want to wish you well. Hey, Crystal. My name is Jim Jaber. I'm the women's basketball coach here at UD. I've heard a lot about you and your plight and what's been going on with you and we just want you to know we love your perseverance and your work and, and trying to get this thing taken care of. You can't stop. You're a great example to all of us, and we want you to get well. So you can't stop fighting, and it's all, you know how it is. It's, it's all in your head. It's all in your heart, and as long as those two things keep going strong, you're going to be fine. We'll be praying for you, and if we can do anything for you, let us know, but continue to be an example for all of us. Hey, Crystal here at the UD family. We're thinking about you. You know, best of luck for you, and just keep fighting, and we're here for you. Crystal, keep fighting. Family, especially the basketball team, is still thinking of you. We want to get you back for some games. We're really missing you. Hey, Crystal, I'm Arch Deacon, another one of your uh, Otterville pals from back home. I'm here at UD Arena, where uh, the place that you like to come. And we're just all we're all thinking about you, and we want you to get back to your health, you know, and get back to games. And uh, the school means a lot to, to you and uh, well, everybody here. They they really you know love your spirit. And, Right, okay, this is a shout out to Crystal. Uh, Crystal, we, we understand what you're going through. Um, I, would, I just want to mention what we ask for out of our players is being coachable, being competitive, and, and being fun to be around. And, and we know that's, that's who you were when you were here. Um, really, really appreciate how you're competing uh, against this uh, disease. And, and uh, from my understanding, that you're a fun person to be around. I want you to continue to compete. and continue to be fun uh, to be around during your challenge here um, and I just want to let you know that all the Dayton Flyers, uh, the whole university and our athletic department, our baseball team are we're rooting for you. So get well soon, uh, keep battling, um, go Flyers and, and uh, go Crystal without a doubt. Hi Crystal, this is Kelly Sheffield, uh, head volleyball coach here at University of Dayton and uh, uh, you know, here in our brand new offices, actually here, let, let me grab the, the camera here. You gotta check this out. This is, uh, this is our new office complex over here that we just got uh, moved in, into. This is, this is my desk and it's uh, uh, a little bit messy right now, but that's all right. We're in the middle of the season and a few mementos and oh, this is kind of cool over here. Pre picture of a few of our players with uh, President Obama. I guess we'll find out if he'll still be President Obama here pretty soon. And this is the rest. I don't know, for some reason they think I need two TVs. Kind of kind of cool. And uh, the couch. Uh, a couple windows. This is a lot nicer than that uh, 
that um, basement we've been in here, but uh, there's a lot more stuff here. Let me show you around our office complex. This is the, the hardest working staff in the 810. And this is their offices. What in the world is flying through here a little bit? What's, oh, no. what's madam? Come on, get on there. What, what are we doing get, here? Get, Playing get, cornhole? Get, it's cornhole Mondays. Cornhole Mondays. You gotta get ready. You gotta prepare. Like I said, the hardest working staff in the business here. Not really, not really happy about that. Let's go and hey, see can Brett. Hey, down my talk shows on. Hey. Brittany Dildine, I usually oh, hey. really a hard worker here. What in the world are you watching? Helen, is this what you do when I'm out of the office? Uh, uh, it's talk show Monday. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, well, I will tell you this. One thing that I know we can count on, this is our copy room, and this is our film room over here, our, our office uh, meeting room. One thing I know that you can count on, our All-American Board, that you can count on is Jessica Yans, our new Director of Operations, is always hard at, well, almost always hard at work. She must be gone. What the heck is going on over here? Hey, hey, wake up. Sorry, boss. Sorry, boss. I gotta get back to work. This is unbelievable. Hey, I'm coming through, people. Anyways, I'm a little bit irritated right now, but a uh, few things on this wall I think that uh, is pretty cool to check out. This is this is uh, somebody who captured a picture uh, of our team when I told them we had no more 6 a.m. practices. That's uh, been being pretty fired up about that. Here's another picture of somebody last year when we told them that uh, St. Louis had just got knocked off by Rhode Island. This was the enthusiasm that came from that. So, no, actually, to tell you the truth, this is a this is a picture of our team. We were down 0-2 national and televised match uh, conference championship against St. Louis and uh, I think every everybody had us out and we uh, we found a way to persevere and just it was uh, 20 years of coaching is one of the greatest wins I've been a part of just because our team uh, showed so much uh, tenacity. This right here this is a, it's a picture of Yvonne Martin you might have known her she graduated a year ago this is a kid that had four eights four knee surgeries and her, her uh, roommate and best friend and teammate uh, uh, was in a uh, plane accident a couple a couple years ago and, and uh, Yvonne is just, uh, I think she's just, uh, you know, just the epitome of just toughness and persevering and just starting dental school and just, you know, had, a, uh, had an unbelievable career. Uh, easily, easily could have quit and given up really proud of the type of person that she's become and the kind of career that, that she has had. Uh, hey guys, if you're, if you're done playing cornhole and sleeping and watching stuff. So uh, this is uh, this is this is our staff and uh, we just want to say uh, good luck, keep your head up. I know this is a tough time right now. We're all with you here at uh, Dayton Flyer Volleyball. And uh, if you ever need anything, uh, let us know. We'd love to see you in the stands and prairie sometime soon. Thank you guys. Keep fighting. Yes. <laughs> All right, go Flyers.